Alright, Sifuzuda here again with another exciting unboxing. This time it actually comes in a box. And it's actually exciting. I've got the new Gigabyte uh, GeForce GTX 970. But this isn't any 970 WinForce Crazy Edition. This is the WinForce... Is it even a WinForce? It doesn't matter. Either way, this is the tiny GTX 970. This is the 970 that when you look at it, you think... Man, that's like a that's like a you know a 220 or something like that. No, this is the tiny 970, the the little cute one that you've been seeing in all your dirty, dirty Nvidia magazines. Either way, we're gonna get into this. I got it on Black Friday, but it's taking a little bit to get to me because it's in high demand and it was on a good deal. So, you know, so let's get into here. It appears this box uh, was never sealed, so let's not worry about a knife I guess and get into this box maybe ah oh, here we go yeah it was never sealed huh all right let's see what we get it's a thin box because it's a it's such a tiny card right nice black box with a gigabyte uh, logo on the top and then it gets right to the business right in the middle but we're not going to go for the business right now this is holy shit that's heavy this is the business but we'll uh we'll talk about that after we find out what else is in this box what you get in the box you get a quick guide right there graphics card quick guide you get a driver disc which you shouldn't use and you get a six pin well that's an eight pin pci E. I don't know. You see that? It's an 8 pin. Uh, to two Molex. And then that's it. No fancy uh, DVI connectors or anything like that. So let's put all that junk down. This is actually really heavy. Let's get directly into this bag. The normal anti static bag with a giant sticker on it. It's a large piece of tape. And then we pull it out. And we have a double wide. So it's too high, but extremely tiny video card. Whoop. It doesn't stand up by itself either because it's so tiny. We've got let's see, we've got two um crossfire. No, nope, Nvidia doesn't use crossfire. Uh, the NVIDIA version of Crossfire <laughs> ports SLI. Two SLI ports. So you could do up to, what, that's two, three, is that four-way SLI? If you had four of these? Which would be quite silly to get four of these tiny cards. We've got a huge, huge cooler. I'll go and grab my 560 after we uh, finish taking a look at all the parts we've got here. We've got our 16x slot. And we've got, let's see. Uh-oh. Whoop. One DVI. Two D uh, we got one DVI D, one DVI normal. We've got HDMI. We've got display port. And the display port ones are too hard to get out with my fat fingers. Good thing I brought this knife with a yeah, display port, and then more display port, then more display port. As far as I know, you can only use four of these at a time, right? So, uh, we'll have to figure that one out. I would assume it's these two can be used along with these two, or any of these ones, because it seems that they're in a box, sorta. But anyway, this thing. Where is the power port? Power port's on the side. I prefer the power par power port being on the back because you can make it cleaner. But on the side is much easier just to you know swap it in. This GPU is probably the perfect uh, HPC GPU. It's so tiny. Uh, it may be too thick for a lot of them, but with the uh, half half width ish of a normal GPU. You've got pretty much the uh, the best GPU. I don't really need one this small, but uh, 
It was on sale. And it's so cute. I just want to make sweet love to it. Mm. Anyway, this is Super Zero Zero. Signing off.